Hi guys, Kevin here. Welcome back to another audio file review. This time we are checking out One Audio's Monitor 80 headphones right here. In the earlier weeks, we did review the Monitor 60, which is amazing. But this today will be focused on One Audio's professional open back monitoring headphones aimed towards musicians, sound engineers, as well as audio files. Now, I'll explain the term open back as well as monitoring in the later part of this video. All you guys need to know that these headphones right here is just priced under 100 USD. So for the updated price and ongoing discounts, you can always check the product links down below in the video description. Now looking at the price point alone is targeting the mid-range market with the likes of the Audio-Technica ATH-M50X as well as the Audio-Technica ATH-AD700X at the mid-range category. This will be interesting. Design-wise, the Monitor 80 headphones right here looks more professional and futuristic compared to the static look of the Monitor 60 headphones right here. Thus, this one looks more professional. Now, it's mostly plastic bill, making it lightweight and travel friendly. The headphones weighs just under 300 grams in total without any cables attached to it. Now, the headbands right here do extend up to 3.5 cm reinforced with metal bands right here. It can take a lot of stretching, though I recommend not to follow what I do in this video. Comparing the ear cups of the Monitor 80 and Monitor 60 headphones right here, the Monitor 80 overall has a similar thickness of 2cm, a bigger diameter of 6cm opening right here, and a lesser depth of 2.3cm. Whereas the Monitor 60 right here, because of its thicker ear cup, has a depth of 3cm. Now looking at the ear cup material itself, this is velvet, this is PU. This one, the foam is stiffer, whereas on the PU is very, very soft and comfy. This helps with passive sound isolation, but for the velvet, passive sound isolation is not important since it's open back in nature. The velvet is comfortable to use long duration, like four hours of editing, there is no sweat and heat build up, whereas on the PU, there's a little bit of warm and moisture build up, something to note right there. The good news is the velvet material is much more comfier to use longer duration than PU leather. I didn't experience any sweating. Clamping pressure is significant coming from a small Asian bill of 175 cm tall. The ear cups does not swivel 180 degrees like the Monitor 60, just around 45 degrees beyond that slightly. Now it does bend inwards 90 degrees as well as rotate 180 degrees for each ear cup. So this is a three-way swivel mechanism ear cups right here. Now looking at the bottom of the headphones right here, here we can see the two ports. On the left ear cup, you have the 3.5 millimeter female port. On the right side, you have the quarter jack or 6.25 millimeter female port right here. You may use either ports to share audio with another headphones. Good if you're watching movie with your loved ones. One Audio provides an oval shaped hard carrying pouch for the headphones and cable. The package comes included with two types of cable. 150 cm long 6.25 mm or quarter headphone jack, 3 pole to 3.5 mm 3 pole coiled cable expandable up to 300 cm, as well as a 300 cm long 3 pole to 3 pole 3.5 mm cable. The cables can be used bi directional. On to audio benchmark, the Monitor 60 has an impedance of 38 ohms, while the Monitor 80 has an impedance of 250 ohms. It's recommended to use with an amplifier or a professional desktop driver to run this. But for Apple M1 MacBook users, the MacBook does support high impedance driver. So thankfully, and I'm rocking it. It uses a 40mm dynamic driver and one audio claims the headphone has high resolution audio certification. The term monitoring headphones means the sound signature is flat. You can mix and post-process the audio correctly for the final outcome that you desire. In other terms, the bass frequency should be flat sounding and near audible level in terms with the middle and also the high frequency ranges. The term open back means the headphone allows the air to pass through the ear cups from the rear of the driver. This creates clear and natural sounding experience and also a reduce in low frequency build ups. Our test is based on two different setup when testing the audio. The first is the Apple M1 MacBook Pro 14 inch with copper color 3.5 millimeter cables at 50% volume. This is analog mood. Next is the Apple MacBook Pro 13 inch late 2015 model with USB type C deck, copper color RCA cables, as well as drop THX AAA 789 amplifier. Starting with Tian BOK, ultra low bass packs great power but not to a point it overpowers the vocals. 
Not surprising that the vocals is very notable or more audible than the bass and is crystal clear thanks to its open back headphones with lesser bass build up. Next is Pia Mia Do It Again. Noble bass packs good amount of power, just slightly less compared to the ultra lows of the earlier song. Vocals is crystal clear, more audible than the bass, just the way I like it. The bass fades with a long drag, just under power, typical for a flat nature and open back dynamic drivers. Next is Violin The Raindrop. The piano and violin leans towards the crystal clear type with a tiny hint of warm, just so smooth the way I like it. Bass somewhat feels the same with instrumentals in terms of audible level wise, but most part of the song, the instrumentals do stand out more than the bass. I feel the Monitor 80 headphones to be more balanced than the Monitor 60 headphones. In that video, I did mention the Monitor 60 to be a little bit bumpy at the lows or the bass frequency compared to the mids and the highs just slightly. Unlike the Monitor 80 headphones right here, you can be rest assured that the highs, the lows sound similar to the mids, balanced and flat in nature. I feel the headphones to be more welcoming, more gentle, more relaxed, more warm, whereas the Monitor 60 feels a little bit tense and restrictive. I'm not sure how to describe this, but welcome to the world of audiophile, where words can't describe what we experience. Jokes aside, let me summarize up what this headphone is all about. You do need good hardware, like literally good amplifier, desktop, you know, mixers, or even like the MacBook, thankfully, supports high impedance to drive these babies right here. We did try to run it on smartphone, Nintendo Switch, USB decks, on low power device. It does not work well at all. Not surprising, the high impedance right here. So good equipment, sounds good. Bad equipment, nada right there. Now, if you are using a lot of mobile devices, you can go with the Monitor 60 because the impedance right there is 38 ohms compared to 250 ohms right here. Aside from that, the comfort is amazing. It's same as the Monitor 60, just with thinner ear cups right here and velvet material. I wish the ear cups right here is thick as the Monitor 60 or even thicker, thicker, that's not a right English word, but you get what I mean. With velvet material, I think a lot of people would welcome that compared to thinner ear cups. So, you know, one audio, if you're checking out this review, please make the ear cups thicker. Thick is amazing. Now, aside from that, looking at the price point right here, it's good, it's better, it's more affordable. It can battle the likes of Audio-Technica and Bayer Dynamics easily. Would I recommend these babies right here? Definitely. I'm gonna be using this as my daily drivers for editing and post-production. For those musicians and sound engineers, I think you guys would appreciate how flat sounding nature and open back headphones is. If you are interested in these headphones, you can find the product links down below in the video description for the updated price and ongoing discount. Again, thanks for watching this video. I hope to see you guys in future One Audio reviews. I hope they send me more headphones for review. Till then, I'll see you guys in the next review. Bye guys.